Hello, this is the Cambridge Flyers practice listening test, test three. Part 1. Listen and look. There is one example. I'm looking for Michael. Where is he? He's over there. Can you see him? He's singing. Is he the one playing the guitar? No, he's playing the piano. Oh, yes. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. Look at William. What's he doing? He's cooking the food. Oh, yes. He's wearing a T-shirt. It's very hot in the kitchen. And which girl is Katie? Is she sitting at a table? No. She's helping to cook the food. Oh, I can see her. She's got a fork in her hand. That's right. She's putting some pasta in a bowl. Where's Helen? She's over there with her husband. What's she eating? I don't know. It looks like a pizza. Yes, it smells great. Isn't Sarah strong? Why? What's she doing? Look! She's carrying all those plates. They look very heavy. Careful, they might fall. Look at Richard. Who is he? Does he work in the restaurant? No, he doesn't. He's sitting at that table on the left. He hasn't got any food. No. It hasn't come yet. He doesn't look very happy, does he? Now listen to part one again. Look at William. What's he doing? He's cooking the food. Oh, yes. He's wearing a T-shirt. It's very hot in the kitchen. And which girl is Katie? Is she sitting at a table? No. She's helping to cook the food. Oh, I can see her. She's got a fork in her hand. That's right. She's putting some pasta in a bowl. Where's Helen? She's over there with her husband. What's she eating? I don't know. It looks like a pizza. Yes, it smells great. Isn't Sarah strong? Why? What's she doing? Look! She's carrying all those plates. They look very heavy. Careful, they might fall. Look at Richard. Who is he? Does he work in the restaurant? No, he doesn't. He's sitting at that table on the left. He hasn't got any food. No, it hasn't come yet. He doesn't look very happy, does he? That is the end of part one. Part two. Listen and look. There is one example. Hello. Can I ask you some questions about your job? It's for my English homework. Yes, of course you can. Thank you. First, what's your surname? It's Powers. Is that P-O-W-E-R-S? That's right. Can you see the answer? 
Now you listen and write. And what do you do, Mr Powers? What's your job? I'm an engineer. Oh, do you like your job? Yes, it's very interesting. Where do you work? At London Airport. That's a very big place, isn't it? Yes, a plane arrives there every minute. And how do you get to work every day? Do you go by car? Oh, no, it's too far. I take the train every morning. Do you have to start work very early? Well, usually I start work at half past eight, but on Saturdays I begin at half past six. I'm always tired after that, but I don't have to work on Sundays or Mondays. Right. My last question. What do you like doing when you're not working? I mean, do you play a sport like football or tennis? Well, I prefer golf. That's my favourite sport, but I'm not very good at it. Thank you, Mr Powers. That's everything. Now listen to part two again. And what do you do, Mr Powers? What's your job? I'm an engineer. Oh, do you like your job? Yes, it's very interesting. Where do you work? At London Airport. That's a very big place, isn't it? Yes, a plane arrives there every minute. And how do you get to work every day? Do you go by car? Oh, no, it's too far. I take the train every morning. Do you have to start work very early? Well, usually I start work at half past eight, but on Saturdays I begin at half past six. I'm always tired after that, but I don't have to work on Sundays or Mondays. Right. My last question. What do you like doing when you're not working? I mean, do you play a sport like football or tennis? Well, I prefer golf. That's my favourite sport, but I'm not very good at it. Thank you, Mr Powers. That's everything. That is the end of part two. Part three. Listen and look. There is one example. Robert loves animals. Which animal picture has he got on each of his things? My son Robert loves animals. Does he? Has he always liked them? Yes. He's got pictures of them everywhere. I bought this jacket for him. It's got a panda on the front. He thinks it's great. Can you see the letter D? Now you listen and write a letter in each box. It was Robert's eighth birthday last week. We bought him this toy box to go in his bedroom. Can you see the dolphin on it? Oh, yes, it's very nice. I know. I like it too. And Robert bought that address book in a little shop when we were on holiday last summer. There was a nice book with a camel on the front, but he chose this one in the end. It's got an octopus on the front page. That's his favourite sea animal, I think. I like them too, but I like eating them more. And which other animals does Robert like? He likes them all. Have you ever seen anything like these before? <laughs> They're Robert's new socks. We got them for him at the market last Wednesday. Look, they've got little white hippos all over them. I haven't given them to him yet. He'll be surprised. And I got him these new gloves there, too. They're nice. And you bought those at the same market? Yes. I got them because they've got a dinosaur on each hand. But they look very friendly, don't they? Doesn't Robert have anything without an animal on it somewhere? No. Even his umbrella has got an animal on it, too. He got it when he went to the museum with the school.
What's that on it? It's difficult to see. It looks a lot like a bat, but it's a kind of butterfly. When I first saw it, I wasn't sure, but it is. Look. Oh yes. Now listen to part three again. It was Robert's eighth birthday last week. We bought him this toy box to go in his bedroom. Can you see the dolphin on it? Oh yes, it's very nice. I know. I like it too. And Robert bought that address book in a little shop when we were on holiday last summer. There was a nice book with a camel on the front, but he chose this one in the end. It's got an octopus on the front page. That's his favourite sea animal, I think. I like them too, but I like eating them more. And which other animals does Robert like? He likes them all. Have you ever seen anything like these before? <laughs> They're Robert's new socks. We got them for him at the market last Wednesday. Look, they've got little white hippos all over them. I haven't given them to him yet. He'll be surprised. And I got him these new gloves there too. They're nice. And you bought those at the same market? Yes, I got them because they've got a dinosaur on each hand. But they look very friendly, don't they? Doesn't Robert have anything without an animal on it somewhere? No, even his umbrella has got an animal on it too. He got it when he went to the museum with the school. What's that on it? It's difficult to see. It looks a lot like a bat, but it's a kind of butterfly. When I first saw it, I wasn't sure, but it is. Look. Oh yes. That is the end of part three. Part four. Listen and look. There is one example. Where did Sarah go for her birthday? Hello, Sarah. Did you enjoy your birthday? Yes, thank you, Uncle Ben. Did you have a party? No, not this year. So, what did you do? Well, I wanted to go to the theatre in London, but it was too expensive. So Dad took us to a restaurant for dinner. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. One, who went with Sarah? Who did you go to the restaurant with? Mum and Dad, and my best friend Emma. She came too. What about your brother? He couldn't come with us because he was at work that evening. Two, which is Sarah's favourite present? Did you get a lot of lovely presents, Sarah? Oh yes, my grandmother bought me a CD player. That's great. And I got some new pens and pencils from my cousins. But the present I like best is a brush and comb from Mum and Dad. They're made of silver and they were very expensive. Three, what does Sarah like most at the circus? We're going to the circus on Friday night. That sounds nice. It's a good circus with clowns and horses. I like them best. Do you? I prefer the elephants. They're so clever. Four, how are they going to get there? It's a long way to the circus, isn't it? How are you going to get there? Well, we're going to take a taxi because it's too far to walk. Why don't you go by bus? It's cheaper. Oh no, it takes too long. Five, what are they going to eat at the circus? What about food? Are you going to take some sandwiches? No, we can have supper at home before we go. 
Would you like some sweets to eat there? No, thanks, Uncle Ben. Mum's going to buy us ice creams. Now listen to part four again. One. Who went with Sarah? Who did you go to the restaurant with? Mum and Dad, and my best friend Emma. She came too. What about your brother? He couldn't come with us because he was at work that evening. Two. Which is Sarah's favourite present? Did you get a lot of lovely presents, Sarah? Oh yes. My grandmother bought me a CD player. That's great. And I got some new pens and pencils from my cousins. But the present I like best is a brush and comb from Mum and Dad. They're made of silver and they were very expensive. Three. What does Sarah like most at the circus? We're going to the circus on Friday night. That sounds nice. It's a good circus with clowns and horses. I like them best. Do you? I prefer the elephants. They're so clever. Four. How are they going to get there? It's a long way to the circus, isn't it? How are you going to get there? Well, we're going to take a taxi because it's too far to walk. Why don't you go by bus? It's cheaper. Oh no! It takes too long. Five. What are they going to eat at the circus? What about food? Are you going to take some sandwiches? No. We can have supper at home before we go. Would you like some sweets to eat there? No, thanks, Uncle Ben. Mum's going to buy us ice creams. That is the end of part four. Part five. Listen and look at the picture. There is one example. I like this picture. Can I colour it, please? Of course you can. Let's start now. What shall I do first? Can you see the tree next to the tent? Yes. Well, colour the swing under it. What colour shall I make it? Red. Can you see the red swing? This is an example. Now you listen and colour and write and draw. One. Now find the tallest boy in the picture. Okay. Is he looking at a map? Yes, he is. Can you colour his rucksack? What colour? Orange. All right. Two. Now for some more colouring. Oh, good. Find the boy who's standing on the right. Where? Oh, I can see him. He's playing a drum. That's right. Colour it yellow. Three. There are two flags in the picture. Yes, I can see them. Well. First, draw two stars on the flag on the right. That's the big one. Yes, that's right. And then colour them blue. Okay. Four. Now you can write something. Excellent. Can you see the tent? Yes. It's got a number three on it. Yes. I want you to write the word tent above the number. Okay. Five. 
five. And last, can you do some more colouring? OK. Can I colour something purple? What would you like to colour? Can you see the boy in the tent? Yes. I'd like to colour his torch. That's fine. The picture's much more interesting now. Now listen to part five again. One. Now find the tallest boy in the picture. OK. Is he looking at a map? Yes, he is. Can you colour his rucksack? What colour? Orange. All right. Two. Now for some more colouring. Oh, good. Find the boy who's standing on the right. Where? Oh, I can see him. He's playing a drum. That's right. Colour it yellow. Three. There are two flags in the picture. Yes, I can see them. Well, first draw two stars on the flag on the right. That's the big one. Yes, that's right. And then colour them blue. OK. Four. Now you can write something. Excellent. Can you see the tent? Yes. It's got a number three on it. Yes. I want you to write the word tent above the number. OK. Five. And last, can you do some more colouring? OK. Can I colour something purple? What would you like to colour? Can you see the boy in the tent? Yes. I'd like to colour his torch. That's fine. The picture's much more interesting now. That is the end of the Flyers' Practice Listening Test 3.